Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Right then guys, um, today I'm going to do an unboxing of my new PC and I put a little post-it on there saying unboxing video just in case I forgot. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty big box, I'll just show it you now. Um, don't know how well you're going to get the scale of this but it's pretty damn big. I don't know where you can see that very well, but it, it's it big, it's big box. So uh, what I'm going to do, because it'll take me quite a while to open it and open the different parts, I'm going to like sort of leave it running, leave leave the video recorder running, and then just kind of jump cut the video a little bit, because otherwise it will be here forever just opening the damn thing. So yeah, I'm going to do that and get on, open the box up and stuff, and then uh, I'll show you the bits that are inside. So yeah. I will uh, see you in a little bit guys. Right then guys, uh, so I've got the first thing out, there's only a few boxes in there actually, um, and it came with a whole load of this stuff, like crazy amount, I mean, absolutely crazy stuff. I'm going to put that over there because that is really noisy. Um, so what have we got in here, we have got don't know what that even is, like a power lead I think, yeah, I've got some big power lead in there, um, I don't know whether, no I didn't upgrade my power lead, so I don't know whether, it, I think it's probably just going to be a standard thing, don't know what that is, I hope this is not going to be com complex to uh, set up, because I am not really very technical, or oh, I don't know what that lead is even for, uh, we've got Windows 10, gently scratched to reveal product key, so we've got a little Windows 10 thing there, um, MSI graphics card quick user's guide, so there's a little u graphics card user guide, I've never had a computer with a graphics card in, so don't know whether it's going to be any different or not, I mean people have been telling me it's going to be faster, um, and obviously if I'm playing games on the PC there's going to be better graphics or something, but I don't know, I'm not going to pretend to know loads about PCs because I really don't, um, but yeah, so we've got a... Afterburner? Is that like a free game or something? It's got like a plane on it or something. Dri oh no, driver and utility. Don't know. Don't know. I haven't got a clue, but loads of different odds and ends in here that I'm going to have to figure out what to do with because obviously they do something. I don't even know. People who know PCs will know what this stuff is. And then I've got some random like brackets and stuff. Don't know. Don't know what these do, but anyway, I'll put all that there, I'll put it back in the thing, because otherwise it'll just get everywhere, so, um, oh my god, this is looking like it's going to be really hard to set up, um, so, we have got, oh yeah, we do get headphones, I thought I do, um, we have got, I don't know whether you're going to see that very well, but we've got the keyboard. Now this is a gaming lap, uh, this is a gaming PC, um, because basically all the home and office PCs on the website were like, really, they weren't the specs that I wanted, so I ended up just getting a gaming one, and I thought, that would be pretty cool anyway, because I might even do a bit of gaming on there. Um, I don't know, at some point I might do. If, it, if I get bored, I might just do it, like download a game or something, or... Uh, buy a game and, and do some gaming on there. So yeah, we've got Game Max, the power of gaming keyboard. I don't know what the difference is between these, um, you know, the gaming keyboards, gaming lap, uh, gaming PCs and stuff, uh, compared compared to just like a normal office one. But yeah, I mean, I know that the graphics cards are meant to be better for gameplay, but I don't know about the actual keyboard and mouse, whether there's any additions to it. But yeah, got some cool things in there. I'm definitely going to be having a try out of them headphones. Uh, see if they're better than the current ones I have for my uh, music. I'm assuming they're just like a, an AUX kind of uh, thing. I don't know, it doesn't say, but anyway, uh, I might be able to listen to my music on those headphones, so that's pretty cool. So that's that, uh, so I'll need to set them up into the computer. We've got my monitor here. God, this is like a bloody jigsaw puzzle. Um, because I've got an all-in-one PC at the moment, so it's just like really easy, you know, but this is, I'm going to have to set this all up. Um, this is a, I don't know, NOC uh, E2270S LED 21.5 inch uh, monitor, so that's pretty good, 21.5 inch, I think 
similar to the one I've currently got, about 21 inch, the other one I've got, or maybe 19 inch, so, yeah, similar, quite happy with that, it can, I think, it, yeah, it can be turned around and stuff, so I'm quite happy with that, uh, low power, or the, yeah, it's basically just a monitor, so I'm not going to dive into that too much, and then we have the big thing, which is going to be heavy, oh no, it's not that heavy, well, it is quite heavy, but not really heavy, because I love parcels around every day anyway, so, um, yeah, so this is a Game Max Hero Series micro gaming case with obviously components. I've got a um, T uh, NVIDIA TI 1030 graphics card. I know I would have liked the 1080 or, you know, a better one, but um, yeah, it's just too expensive. I, I was going to get one, but then I thought, you know, do I wait? I, I, I like, um, I just grounded myself and thought to myself, do I really need a mega high powered PC? Like, I, need, I want a better one, I, knew, I established I wanted a desktop, I wanted a better desktop, but did I really need that extra level, um, because I'm not doing game, you know, I'm not doing much gaming on it or anything like that, so I don't necessarily need, I don't really even need a graphics card to be, to be honest, but yeah, I got that, and obviously it got a load of other bits and bobs in there, but I don't really know much about so yeah that's that i'm going to unbox this now because i will show you this um and i'll unbox the monitor and everything but then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a little bit of a segment at the end showing you it actually all running once i've set it up and then you can get a better scope of it anyway so yeah i'm going to open this up to show you now so i'll speed up the video or something i suppose okay so i've got it unboxed i don't know how well the lighting is going to be here but it's a game max uh, case I was going to get a vinyl wrapping, I was going to get a Do Doctor Who vinyl wrapping that we did, but it wasn't very good. I don't know whether you can get like PC vinyl wrappings like on eBay or something, but I really like a, a Doctor Who one. The only problem is, whenever I do like these vinyl wrappings for anything, um, I used to have a, a, a vapor, you know, an a electronic cigarette, and um, I basically did a vinyl wrapping for my vapor and it was a mess. I did not do it very well. So I think if I get a vinyl wrapping, it's going to look pretty atrocious on this PC because I'm not going to line it up right. But yeah, that is the um, unit there, the tower, as most people call them. Um, don't know it. Windows 10 Home for OEM software. Um, and then we've got very important do not power up the PC. Oh, wait, I better read this. Let's read this out. Oh, it's got a load of stuff on the back as well. Like I have to plug in about a thousand different things. Do not power up the PC as there is bubble wrap inside the case to protect the components in transit. This must be removed before powering up the system. Please read our welcome sheet and setup guide to familiarise yourself with how to get started to avoid common thick pitfalls and headaches. Yes, okay. I will remove the bubble wrap. It's like, for God's sake, obviously I was going to remove the bubble wrap. Anyway, but yeah, I suppose that's customer service right there, so that's all right. Um, but yeah, it's got a load of buttons, and not buttons, like loads of different things on the back there that I have to put things into, and I'm not really technically minded, so I don't know what... Oh, God. I'm already regretting this, because I probably won't even know how to blooming set it up, but yeah. So that's the um, tower there, as it's commonly known. Um... What have we got in here? We've got the monitor, so I'm going to speed this up and obviously then I'll show you uh, it once I've got it out. So basically here is the monitor. Um, it's the same size as my other one, however my other one has like a thicker rim around it. So this is going to make it look a lot bigger. Um, probably got maybe an extra inch all around from my other one because obviously the rim is probably an inch thicker or there or thereabout. So yeah, really happy with that. I'm actually changing from a black monitor to a white monitor. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm happy with that. Obviously I'll need to slot some things into place like this here. And there's some other things around maybe. Uh, and we've got some more power cables and leads and stuff, so yeah, um, so that's the monitor, so I'll just put that in there for a second. It's just like a pretty basic monitor, to be honest this wasn't like a really high end PC or anything, this was fairly bottom of the range for the website that I actually got it off. Um, so yeah, that's that, I think that's everything to be honest, yeah, that's everything, so what I'll do is I'll do all my jiggly pokery, see if I can't set it up, and then um, I will show you a little bit of a segment at the end of it all running and stuff. And hopefully it'll be really, really quick, and I'm not going to clog it up with videos this time like I did my old one. 
got like, I don't know, I must have like three or four hundred gigabytes worth of video, no, probably even more than that, but like three or four hundred gigabytes worth of videos on my old one just from YouTube, because I mean, each video I do is like a gigabyte, a gigabyte once I, um, once I convert it and obviously upscale the quality, so yeah, it's quite crazy really, but yeah, I'll leave it there and I will see you once the PC is set up. Right then, we are pretty much all set up, however, I've got to use my Lenovo uh, mouse for now because uh, that mouse doesn't see, it seems to be very, very laggy. I've looked online, there's a few different solutions, I've tried them, it doesn't seem to work. So what I'm going to do is uh, when I can, when Ryan's got some free time, he knows all about computers and the tech behind it and everything. So um, I'm going to hopefully get him round and uh, he can sort that out for me and I'm sure I'll be able to do that. So uh, yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it's a major problem. It's not the fact that the mouse isn't working. It's just, it's something to do with, um, it, I don't know, it's said online like uh, graphics card updates and update the driver of the mouse and all that and I've done a few different various uh, things and it's not seemed to work but don't know what it is but I don't think it's the actual mouse itself that's just completely kaput or anything so yeah anyway um yeah here it is um we've got the uh, game max keyboard there uh, i've put this mat here for now i might keep that there i might not we've got the um now what you call it now the tower that's on i've not even checked around this side like what it looks like in there but you can't really see anything it's just random components really um but yeah so that's that that's gonna go basically at the back of there um and then it frees up my desk still here. Um, we've got the uh, monitor there. It looks really, really cool. It is really, really fast, actually, this PC, compared to my last one. I mean, look at that. It's like, come on, in literally two or three seconds. It used to take my old PC um, ages and ages just to even boot up, like, Firefox or Google Chrome and stuff. So, really, really happy with that. Going to have to do the long slog now of getting everything onto it, getting everything sorted, all the software stuff, uh, downloading all my programs, you know, my editing software for YouTube videos, my um, OBS software for live streaming, all that sort of stuff. I've got to do that um, in the next day or so because obviously um, I need to edit videos and I need to do live streams and stuff. So yeah, that's that anyway. So hopefully I'll get that mouse sorted and uh, when I do, I'll update you, maybe not in this video, but uh, in a separate video. So yeah. Quite happy, really. Seems all right so far. Um, yeah, can't complain, really. Quite a cool PC. I got this from Dino PC, if you'd like to know. I'm not getting sponsored by them or anything. But uh, just, you know, seems like a, re a reputable company. And uh, it's all arrived safely. It arrived in a big box uh, and very well protected. So, yeah, quite happy with that. So, I will see you in another video, guys. Thanks for watching.